All right, so let's look at a question from Ineb 2004, and this was question number eight. So this is an example of a question where partial fractions is basically just one of the steps. So this is an example where we need to have angle substitution, but then later on we'll encounter some linear factors which will need to be converted into partial fractions. So this is where it's just a step, but let's look at how we solve this. So this was question from Ineb 2004. So being told that use the substitution t is equal to turn x over 2 to evaluate the integral of 1 over 3 plus 5 cos x dx. So how do we solve this? So first of all, by tangent half angle substitution, we can we know that dx shall be equal to 2 dt over 1 plus t squared. And then we're going to see cos x is equal to 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And then where t is equal to tan x over 2. So now if this doesn't make sense to you, just look back into my video that talks about tangent half angle substitution or Wayne stress substitution, something like that. So now this is how it will look. So when you substitute in the values. So now you can already see it at the top, this multiplies and goes to the top. So now at the bottom, we can actually find the LCM and this is what we have as the LCM the bottom so this and this cancel and we're left with two over that so at the denominator the next step is to open the brackets so and open the brackets we have three plus three t squared plus five minus five t squared so when you add the different values we'll end up with two over eight minus two t squared dt but you can already say that i can factorize out a two from the denominator so this is what we end up having so we have integral of one because the twos cancel, we have 1 over 4 minus t squared. Now, this step is actually uh, very uh, unique because I can already say there is actually a difference of two squares at the denominator. So, that's going to be one of our next steps. But that means we're going to express it as partial fractions. So, in this case, we don't apply any other substitution method, but it's clearly partial fractions. So now we can see that there is a difference of two squares. So 1 over 4 minus t squared is the same as 1 over 2 minus t times 2 plus t. So now this is clearly, uh, these are linear factors. So these have to be expressed as partial fractions. So we're going to let 1 over 2 minus t, uh, 2, 2 plus t be equal to 1 a over 2 minus t plus b over 2 plus t. So this is what we end up having when you find the LCM. So the denominators cancel and this we're left with 1 being equal to a into 2 plus t plus b into 2 minus t. So we can actually already say that if we want to eliminate uh, if we want to eliminate b, all I have to do is to let t be equal to 2. Then if I want to eliminate a, all I have to do is to let t, uh, or I mean if I want to eliminate a, all I have to do is eliminate uh, to make t be equal to negative 2. So one of those those two will allow us to solve this these partial fractions so now if t is equal to 2 we have 1 is equal to a into 2 plus 2 into b plus 2 minus 2 so we have 1 is equal to 4a of which a shall be equal to a quarter so now next if we let t be equal to negative 2 so we'll have that and then 1 shall be equal to 4b of which b shall be equal to a quarter that's what we end up having so now we have a and now we have b so therefore our partial fractions can be 1 over 4 into 2 minus t plus 1 over 4 into 2 plus t so now that we have it in form of partial fractions now we can actually integrate it so now let's integrate these partial fractions so now we can already say that we can actually factorize out a quarter from both and then when you integrate, you can already see that this, when you use your substitution for this, we'll have lean 2 minus, actually we'll have negative lean 2 minus t. Use your substitution here and you have lean 2 plus t plus c. So we can already see that uh, I can actually rearrange this and we'll have lean 2 plus t minus, because of this negative sign, we're going to actually rearrange it. So we have lean 2 plus t minus lean 2 minus t plus c then this further from our laws of natural logarithms you know that when we actually subtract laws it's the same as this divide by that and this is how they are expressed in a more simplified version but we remember that t is equal to tan x over 2 so we have to have the express the final answers in terms of x so we end up having 
the integral of 1 over 3 plus 5 cos x dx shall be equal to a quarter into lean 2 plus tan x over 2 over lean 2 minus tan x over 2 plus c. And that's going to be our answer.